All right, what we're going to do is run through some of the examples on force problems one. So what you're going to do in class tomorrow is work the rest of them. I'm going to do the first example, the first question, and I think that's all I'm going to do just to get you started. The solutions will be in class, so be sure to look for that. So, I have a bucket of 35 kilograms suspended from a rope. So, I got 35 kilograms. And it has a rope that's got tension pulling up. Now we know that weight is going to pull down on it. The force of gravity. How much is the force of gravity? The force of gravity is 35 kilograms times 10 meters per second squared or 350 newtons. Now, this object has an acceleration of zero and I know that because it's suspended from rope. If that's the case, then the upward force has to be equal to the downward force or my net force has to be oops or my net force has to be zero okay in this case the forces have to cancel if that's if that's how it's going to be then tension is equal to 350 newtons now this same bucket is going to be pulled up so 35 kilograms is going to be pulled up by a force in the rope that is 500 newtons. And I want to find the acceleration of the bucket. I've got 500 newtons up, and we still have the force of gravity acting on it, which is 350 newtons. So looking at this, 500 newtons up, 350 newtons down. I know that I have more upward force. So I'm going to have 500 minus 350. That's how many newtons are pulling up on this thing. Let's draw it one more time. 35 kilograms. And I've got 500 minus 350. Well, that gives me 150 newtons up. That is my net force. That is my mass. So if I want the acceleration, net force is mass times acceleration. So 150 newtons is equal to 35 kilograms times the acceleration. The acceleration comes out to be, well, we need to divide both sides by 35. And the acceleration comes out to be 130 divided by 150 divided by 35. So for this acceleration, we get 4.3 meters per second squared. So now we want to know what force the rope has to pull to go up at a constant velocity. Let's go over here. We have 35 kilograms. I don't know how much force is up. And I still have the force of gravity, which is 350 newtons acting down. Now, if we're going at a constant velocity, the acceleration has to be zero. If the acceleration is zero, the net force has to be zero. And if the net force is zero, we once again have to have our forces cancel. Which means the upward force has to be equal to the downward force. So that upward force is equal to, again, 350 newtons. That's what it takes to give me a constant velocity. So the force is reduced to 200 newtons. What's the new acceleration of the block? We have a 35 kilogram block. We're pulling up on that block with 
200 newtons and gravity is pulling down on that block with 350 newtons just like it did over here that doesn't change so for our 35 kilogram block we have 200 up oh I did that step wrong forgive me which force is gonna win the 350 down or the 200 up that's right the 350 down wins so my net force is gonna be 350 sorry 350 minus 200 the acceleration is going to be that way. So I've got 35 kilograms and it has a downward force of 150 newtons acting on it. The acceleration is down. So that's my net force. That's my mass. So the net force is equal to the mass times the acceleration. 150 equals 35 times the acceleration and my acceleration comes out to be in the downward direction 4.3 meters per second squared hmm but remember this acceleration is down and this acceleration was up 